Hey everyone, this is Mike and welcome back to Real Life Counseling. Today we're going to talk about improving your life using the ideas of transactional analysis. Um, transactional analysis, as the title and the name implies, analyzes transactions or interactions we have with other people. Um, and these are actually kind of, kind of a little complicated. Um, and I'm not going to explain it all here, but the idea, broadly speaking, is a lot of the problems we have is that our interactions with other people, this is definitely a relationship-based theory and therapy, in which a lot of our depression, sadnesses, and anxiety um, is the result of our inability to connect and communicate effectively with other people. Family, friends, co-workers, neighbors. Um, and the broad, broad idea is this, that we have within us this conceptual model of a parent, child, and adult. And sometimes people interact from their parent, right? If you've ever been lectured by someone, uh, that's the parent. Now, again, there's two types of parents. There's the more nurturing parent where they, you know, take care of you and they do everything for you, which is not so great. And then there's the critical parent, which is the one I was talking about where they lecture you. We also have the child part of us. They have the, you know, the mischievous child, the playful child. We also have the child that uh, throws a temper tantrum and doesn't want to do it, uh, leave me alone. Uh, and there's two child, right? There's the adaptive child and the natural child. And those two sides of it, the more spontaneous, fun-loving, and then the more mischievous, and maybe the more angry and uh, not so nice child. And then we have the adult, and that's supposed to be the more neutral, more objective, more rational, more logical part. And people interact with people from these different positions. You have a boss that very often may come across as a parent. Well, they're not your parent. They're your boss. Uh, you have friends and people that you know, and maybe you have a temper tantrum sometimes. You get stubborn. You, you come from your child, um, and other people do. And if there's a mismatch, right, if someone is coming at you from a certain position, and you're confused, why are you treating me like a child? Well, they're coming from their parent, and you've fallen for it, and you're acting like the child. Now, you can do that, right? It works if you want it to work, if you know it works, if you're comfortable with it working. Um... But the idea is that you want to try as much as possible to stay in your adult. Now, not always. Being a child is fun. You want to be spontaneous. You want to be fun, right? And maybe at times you want that parent. Uh, and not just parent to your own kids, a parent to anyone. Maybe sometimes you give people advice. You want them to be safe. You're worried about them. You know, you're a caring person. And so maybe you come from your parent. It's not necessarily wrong or bad, but knowing this is very helpful. Another part is that we pick up what they call scripts. These are messages that we get, life messages growing up. Um, you know, um, boys don't cry. Um, you know, women shouldn't uh, be assertive or aggressive. Um, you, know, uh, you know, little boys uh, only play with trucks or army figures or something. Wh whatever it is, you shouldn't care about money. Money's not that important. Um, you know, uh, you should always put other people first right? Uh, those kinds of things. And we internalize them, and those are our scripts, and we continue them and in our interactions with, with other people. And that can get in the way, especially if the messages don't work anymore, right? Um, so there's a lot of these, these uh, ideas and techniques. We also, um, we want strokes, and strokes uh, is a term from transactional analysis. We want attention, now, there's good and bad attention, and any attention is better than no attention. So even bad attention, even when kids act out or people do things that are bad and they get bad attention, well, at least they're getting some attention. But, of course, we want, we want good attention, and strokes are attention. We have this positive strokes and negative strokes, and, of course, we want positive strokes. And when we don't get them naturally, right, when we don't get them just for being who we are, we maybe manipulate people into giving them. We're overly um, solicitous to them. We're overly friendly. We come, oh, you're so wonderful, because we want to get strokes. But we also don't want conditional strokes. We want unconditional. We want to be loved for who we are. And But sometimes we play these games, and other people play these games with us, and this can impact our relationships. So anyway, TA, TA or transactional analysis, teaches you that. and teaches you how to better interact and communicate and to be aware of these internal motivations in these games. And so there's a 24-week program that will really help you to understand this and how to apply it in a way 
that is much more productive, much more healthy, much more helpful. Uh, so if you're interested, you can look up. Eric Byrne is um, uh, the uh, founder and creator of um, Transactional Analysis. There was a very famous book, um, not by Byrne, um, uh, I'm okay, you're okay, it's become almost a catchphrase, it's become a kind of a, almost a joke, you know, I'm okay, you're okay, but it's actually a really good book, uh, and uh, I would check you, encourage you to check it out. So you can do some research online, but if you're interested, let me know, get, you know, contact me in the comment section, uh, and if you like this video, if you think it's worthwhile, give it a thumbs up, if you want to subscribe, please do. Uh, share this with someone that you think could benefit from it, and if you have any comments, I'd be uh, glad to read about them. And I will see you in the next video. Stay safe.